In this video, we are going to talk about how to distribute your runes because you have many, many runes, but you don't know where to put them. And we're going to talk about how to find your speed tuning and how to build a proper well-tuned team. And lastly, we're going to talk about all the other weird builds that you can use for your counter pick in the last pick that are not violent or swift or despair, but they are still pretty amazing. So how to run RTA unit. Most RTA team will look something like this. You have most of your unit on violent will and some of your unit on the spare will because we mostly farm dragons and giants. And then you will have something like this. You have your fastest unit on swift broken. Maybe if you're fancy, you got some swift will unit in there. And then you have some vile name, vile revenge, and then some triple revenge. And I'll talk about some other niche weird it as a bill at the very end but this is how most people box will turn out to be just a bunch of violent unit despair unit and some swift unit before we move on with the video i need to tell you guys about my favorite anime slash manga vinland saga it is all about a viking life but the problem in summoner's war is that there's not a whole lot of viking theme monster or heroes in this game but luckily today's channel sponsor viking guard is here to save the day Viking Guard is a Viking and Nordic mythology simulation RPG game which has a relatively casual and strategic game experience. In this game, you will manage and develop your Viking tribe, recruit heroes, and build powerful fleets. Explore the nine realms of mythology and collect lost artifacts to strengthen your power. You will also face various different monsters from dragons to krakens to fenrirs and so many more. You will also have to form a strong alliance with other players, a very community-driven game because you will have to fight with other alliance in the weekly alliance clash. You can farm, mine, and feed pets and discover some interesting story in the casual daily life of a Viking. The Halloween event in the game will start on October 20. It will be followed by Thanksgiving and Christmas in this season with a series of rich activities. The best time to start Viking Guard is literally right now with the link down below to enjoy the continuous and diverse events. During the Halloween event, you can obtain a special Halloween themed pet called the Pumpkin Kitten. <laughs> Pumpkin Kitten. The game has also introduced Vampire for the first time, allowing players to challenge and acquire this formidable Vampire Lord. So what are you waiting for? Use the link down below to support the channel and download Viking God and try the game out for yourself. Big shout out to Viking God for sponsoring the video. So first, let's talk about the Swift unit. I put a Swift Will, but you can put Swift whatever, okay? Because not everyone can run Swift Will. So I think in the current meta, it is the best option to put your best swift set on the unit with high base speed. So in each element nowadays, we have one or two units with very good base speed. We have Ethna and Sekhmet and Zabala, Triton for the normal unit. And then everyone and their mom will probably have an Asher as well. And then you have occasional Gany, Sonia, and we have some LD5 with very good base speed. So the best chance for you to outspeed somebody that is using a Wind Robot or a Chi Wu is to use the unit with high base speed. So with the same speed lead and same rune quality, you will outspeed. And that's how you don't lose in a speed battle. Let's say you are in Fighter 3, both of you have a 280 Swift or 290. If you're if you put that on segment, you reset the enemy wind robo, and then you're gonna be good. If your entire team have will runes, you reset the enemy stripper with the ethna. I mean the the segment, or you stun the enemy stripper with the ethna. That's why ethna counter more or wind robo. Then you're gonna be fine. But most of you guys will probably have an asher to try and outspeed the enemy. Also, this will allow you to counter most cleaver out there. A lot of people in the low rank they don't want to spend too much time doing RTA. So they will cleave with Draco, they will cleave with Bastet, whatever, right? Asher can outspeed them much easier comparing to trying to put that same rune set on a Wind Robo and hope that you will outspeed the enemy booster. But then occasionally you will have your secondary swift set on these other units that you also want to use like your Chi Wu, your Clara, your Wind Robo, maybe even your Mora or your Charlotte, your Vert. These can be built on Swift as well. A lot of Swift Vert users are still out there because when someone first pick a Mora, a lot of people instant reaction is to go into a defensive turn 2 mode and by picking a Vert on Swift Rune, not only you allow your Despair or Violent Mora to move more consistently, 
you will also steal the Verd the enemy, and this Verd can be on Swift, but it doesn't have to be very fast. A uh, 200 bonus speed on a Swift Verd, not 210, not 220, is more than enough to outspeed most Bruiser team with the more speed lead, and you will constantly take turn against the enemy. So most of you guys will have like maybe one set that is like really fast, maybe in the 210, 220, 230, no, not 230. If you have 230 Swift set, you're not going to watch this video, okay? So most most of you guys will have like a 210 set. If you put on one of these units, then you can try to get turn one. And then you have a 205 or 200 set, you put on these. For example, if you see someone pick a Gany or a Wusa first, they will most likely go in with a Chiu. You take the Chiu, you force them to go into a turn two position. Then your Chiu can outspeed even with plus 195. I've seen G3 player with plus 190 something Chiu and they will still pick that unit very confidently because they know they stole the enemy Chiwu, they forced the enemy into turn two and a shitty Chiwu can outspeed just fine. And then whatever follow up they have is on like violent 180 bonus and you're good to go. So one thing I discover is a Swift Herney, not even like very good Swift, right? Just Swift Focus or whatever, is really good into turn two prior or into Mouse Raccoonie. So Herney will go and she will oblivion and push back the attack power of the enemy unit. So usually it's going to be on speed, HP, accuracy. Even though she's a healer, she needs a slot six accuracy to land her oblivion. And even the heal transfer debuff is very good with accuracy. You, you need accuracy for Herney. Okay, you put that on. If you have a Tomoe, you know, this unit right here, you can use that with Herney and spread that three turn defense break and three turn oblivion on the entire enemy team. And that is super devastating. But once again, pick like two or three unit at most. Okay, one of the biggest problem of many people is they have like maybe two or three good Swift set, but they want to build like all of them. Like you want to build all of this. Okay, people told me I'm only feeling safe if I build more units. But the problem is, by the fourth unit, it's so shitty build that if you pick it, and even if you pick it correctly, you're still going to lose because it is so badly ruined. Okay, it is mostly about runes for these units. Like, even if you pick a, a Veronica with a shitty rune build, it's going to be a shitty Veronica and it's going to do anything. Okay, so pick like two units, one high base, one normal base, but it is a turn one unit. Put a swift set on and you, you, you play test you decide okay maybe i'm not a i'm not an ethna kind of guy because ethna require good artifact ethna require good speed crit rate attack build ethna very stat hungry i'm not an ethna kind of guy ditch ethna put that rune set on segment because segment only need accuracy and speed to land that reset and she's good to go so maybe i'm an ethna i mean i'm not an ethna kind of guy but i'm more of a zibala segment kind of guy and then for the secondary unit i would highly recommend maybe a chiwa or win robo win robo is great to pressure people who are trying to go turn two especially when they don't have fire unit then winnable can full strip full control in one single unit it is absolutely crazy so if i'm a normal person i would one of this and a winnable and maybe a chew if i have one just to take it away from people who first pick gany wusa because they want to go into chiwu and hathor take the chiwu away they will struggle she was great against the vert that they're about to pick she was great against douglas they're about to pick i ruined my chiwu on speed attack accuracy or speed attack attack so i can deal with douglas with chiwu so that is the swift rune okay so you have rune about two three total unit at this point we have what I would call a third tier Swift bill as well. This actually makes sense. So we have Vanessa, Teo, even Hey Gang. If you don't really want to invest a despair set on Hey Gang, but I think you should, a secondary or a third grade Swift bill on, let's say, plus 180 speed. Kind of slow on Swift, but Vanessa, great on Swift because she doesn't need to violent pro. Her skill cooldown is really low and she's only mainly there to strip defense back to set up for something else. So she doesn't need to violent pro as well because her violent pro doesn't, doesn't really add anything to that turn. So if you strip reset, you don't violent proc, you don't take away some of the percentage for the next unit to violent proc. Tayo, very good on Swift as well. I would put Tayo on Violent, but you know Violent runes are rare and Tayo is great to follow up after Vanessa or any stripper and being on Swift allow you to speed tune your Tayo 
to that unit correctly. One of the biggest thing people do is they ruin a very fast whatever despair more 180 bonus despair more. Very amazing. Their follow up is a tail on violent with 250 bonus speed. There's like a 30 speed gap. The gap is wider than me and the neighbor's kid when I was young. Okay, it's insane that gap. So when you close that gap, nobody can cut in between. If you have a gap that big, then anyone can can go in between. That's why you have an X. Okay, you need to close that gap immediately. So that after the stripper move, the tail move. And a lot of people don't have the speed could damage attack for tail to have it have a speed that is good. So Swift is a really easy way to achieve a tail that can move in the 270, 280 speed range. And then we have Bover, who can be on Swift as well to speed to whatever your other damage dealer is. And Bover, remember, is also a single target stripper with that skill one. He can steal one buff with a 100% chance, okay? So Bover moving faster than an Oliver can be crucial sometime. Like let's say turn one, you don't want to do the, the 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 damage, the healing thing just yet. You want to strip with Bover, but then your Bover is on wheel shield and do it slow as shit. You can't move in front of Oliver, then you can't strip with the Bover, which could be a stripper as well. So great unit. And then we have a Win Cassandra here, not a meta unit, but then she have a self speed buff. So it's only one turn. If you violent proc out of it, then it's kind of lame. And if you don't have the spare room for her, then Swift is kind of okay as well. So by now you have three, four unit build with Swift rune, one fast, one okay, and one slower, but still okay. It's more about speed tuning. Then we move on to the spare rune. So most of the unit here, as you can see, what are they? They are all freaking AoE stripper and also AoE follow-up. They have a lot of strong AoE, so the spare is great on them because they can stun with their AoE, and that is absolutely amazing. So in the current meta, the fastest spare set is going to be on Heigang because you can pick Heigang to go first because he AoE strip to open up the enemy for your follow-up like Teo, Changpeng, Poseidon, Robo, Verat, whatever you are using to move after Heigang. He will strip, you do the thing, and then you win. But then if you were going slower, enemy actually stole your more, they stole your robo, they pick a Gianna for fuck's sake, or whatever stripper they have, then Heigang is also great when you're going that turn two position. So you can gain attack bar, and that is absolutely amazing. Heigang is also incredible against many cleanser in the meta, Juno, Camilla, Raccoon, whatever Riley, whatever cleanser they have, you gain free attack bar. Literally a free to play ragdoll on your team. So Heigang deserve the best despair set. And after that, it really depends on whether you can have another set that is very close to Heigang, okay? There's also an accuracy slot 6 or high accuracy in general. Then it will go either on more or Changpeng. If you have Volantis, probably going to go on Volantis. If you have Dark Robo, it's probably going to go on Dark Robo. So the second set that is very close to Heigang can go on one of these units. They perform the strip into the spare set as well. And if you have more the spare set, then these will be the follow-up that are great on the spare. They can be on violent, they can be on whatever, but they are good on the spare because we need the most amount of violent that we can have on many other units that we want to build. So what some of these AOE units, if you can put them on the spare, then they're pretty good on that. Especially Chengpeng that can stun the vert. Oh my God. That is the best feeling ever. When your win unit stun the vert, when they perform an AOE attack, that is incredible. So you probably have like three unit on despair. Personally, I have more Hei Gang and Tomoe on despair. My Changpeng is going in between despair and violent, depending on my mood. But I want have three of them. The fastest on Hei Gang, the second fastest on more, but they're like one speed apart. And the slower one on Tomoe, because she will need the debuff to land on the enemy. And then she can do the spreading thing. Okay, if I have Volantis, if I have other great LD, then the more will probably give the set to the LD. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe when I get the LD, then I'll update you guys. I'm not too sure just yet. All right, and then we have the slower despair set, just like the Swift situation, right? We have the fastest Swift set, and we have the normal Swift set. So I have the fastest despair set, and then I have the, the mid-range despair set. So here we have unit that can do the follow-up things like Rika. Oh, this girl is so crazy. I've been fighting so many of this. We have a Nana who's on despair because her violent part is like kind of meh, but her, her despair stand is pretty crazy and she can go tanky build. She doesn't need super speed on the rune. So that's amazing way to utilize your rune as well. Kinky can be on despair. Kinky can be on violent. Despair is totally fine. And then we have Gyo who's a great tanky slower de despair build abuser. She needs good accuracy, and that's pretty much it. You can build her max res if you can. You don't have to, 
but she need HP, accuracy, and some speed, and she'll be a great just disruptor against the enemy unit. And then we have Juno, very specific unit. We have Despair Will here, but Juno is a uh, Despair Revenge kind of gal or Despair Nemesis, Despair whatever. Okay, Despair Blade if you want to. So speed, crit rate, HP, and Juno also another great disruptor on Despair because these two units gain a lot of attack bar on their own. So they are great on Despair. This unit revenge a lot. That's why it's on Despair. This unit, if she's stunned and then she's slow and she dot, absolutely insane disruption. This unit also gain a lot of turn. That's why Despair. Recently, I've been using more Chandra in the team as well. Absolutely incredible with Sagara. So Despair stun with a skill one or the slow debuff with Despair stun and skill three is insane. Another unit that can be on Despair on Rage and Vampire, but sometimes he is on Despair too, because if you want to use him as a follow-up unit, then he can be on Despair. But these will be using the slower speed Despair rune. So you will build like maybe two, three of this and then another two, three of this. So in total, you have built about, I would say, eight units in total. Okay, because your runes can only allow you to do so. Next up, we have the Violent Unit. So, where do you put your best Violent Runes? Personally, on the unit you use the most, obviously, duh. So, the unit I use the most nowadays are Cigar. So, I start the fight with Cigar and more. So, one Despair, one Violent, mixing it up a little bit. And then, I will go in with some follow-up unit. So, Cigar deserves to have the best Violent set, the fastest vial set so that he can strip and shut down one unit i'm liking cigar more than chung Peng or any other win unit because he is self-sufficient he can get one unit control regardless of whether i have strip or not he get one unit control and i pair him with a swift vanessa that is like one speed faster than him so vanessa can open up another unit for the cigar to push back and that alone is very devastating for the enemy already and there are many teams out there they don't build full will. They build some Violent Revenge, some Violent stuff. So Cigar is incredible. You don't need AoE Strip if they don't have AoE will. So Cigar, single target strip, incredible unit. Take my best Vio set. But some other people would put their best Vio set on Chang Pang because he's also on the best follow-up after your Despair Stripper. Then a Vio Chang Pang can be crazy as well. And then we have all the follow-up unit like Teor and Verat. That is a cursed image right there. <laughs> What the hell is going on over there? We have a follow-up set going on over there. And I love rooting up a Verat because Verat takes speed defense defense. So nobody really used defense rune. So Verat is going to use the rune that nobody used, which is amazing. And also a great water follow-up. And I have Praha here as my secondary stripper and a mid-range unit. So Praha and Sagar will take the best vial set. And then the slower set, the one that you use to follow up after the fastest Despair or Swift unit has taken a turn. And you have the slower vial build on Oliver and Carno. I would love to build at least one or maybe two follow up in each element. Okay. If you decided that your stripper are uh, more Hay Gang and Windrable, you have three options. And then you have a uh, Asher for turn one contest. But you have Windrable, more Hay Gang. So I. You need follow up, right? So you need to be prepared for every situation that comes to you. So when I rune up my follow up, I will rune up two in each element. So for win, I would have actually three because I can, but you're probably going to rune two. I have three. So that'll be Oliver, Shang Peng, and the win Bison. For water, I have Varad, Teor, and that's pretty much it. I, I have Chandra too, but he's like way slower on Despair. He's not really a strong follow-up as well. But Varad, Chandra will be my water. And for fire, I run Karno and a slower Despair set on Rika. So whatever element they're throwing at me, I will have an answer for that person accordingly. Okay. And then there are some other different violent build. We have Vile Shield for Mouse on speed, whatever, whatever. Right now, the meta, I think, is speed, HP, resistance because you want a mouse to be frozen by Camilla or defense broken or just oblivion. So speed, HP, resistant for mouse or speed, HP, resistant for Shizuka because you don't want to get random freeze from, from whatever. And then you have Thessarian who might be on Vio, Revenge, Vio, Will. But I think Thessarian is a flexible kind of case. Thessarian can go on pretty much everything like Triple Revenge. Even if you are down bad, you don't have runes, okay? I would still recommend to build Thessarian on like a tier 3 Swift, Swift Revenge. And I think that's totally fine. You just last pick the Saren when you see a lot of passive. And then they will have to either ban the Saren or they get absolutely clapped by this unit. So these are the units that I have personally built up. And they're very meta and they're very good. But if you don't have 
Let's say Vratio, you can run up Water Monkey King. Also pretty good. So choose the follow up that you want to use. Like Poseidon is pretty good water, but then he uses Spear, which is great. So I don't have to waste a violent set on him. But remember, run up at least one follow up in each element so you can use accordingly. Because in lower rank, people draft not so good. People pick many of the same element in their draft. They People accidentally pick too many win. And then you pick Rika and Karno and Tessarian together. And they're like, shit, whatever they ban, they still lose. They pick too many water. You pick Chungpeng, Oliver, Sagar, Charlotte, and Savannah. Then they, they fucked. So, but then don't ruin way too many, okay? Two of each and you're good to go. And then I have the, uh, how do I say this? The, the really slow vial set. Like, you don't have to put like an insane set on Wusa. But you can always last pick Wusa as an immunity unit if you don't see any strip. Then Wusa is going to be terrifying for the enemy. And Wusa has higher base speed. So even if you have like a plus 130 speed on Wusa, it's still going to be okay. So these are like the, um, I would say, leftover, but pretty decent. So we have a belly on speed good damage defense. We have a slower Josephine on speed good damage or whatever. Then Kinky is also a slower unit. And Carl can be a bit slow as well, but it's going to be okay. So these are like the slower vial build. You know what, Her Herney, if I were to ruin Herney, she probably want to belong to the fast Vio set. Though. But then I, I use Swift on her, so I don't have to waste a Vio set on her. That's how you utilize your runes, okay? Now let's talk about speed tuning. As I mentioned before, you want your entire team to move as a unit. You don't want to have a very fast more and a very slow Chung Pung. Because after you strip, there are many things that can happen between, especially with the stupid Hey Gang in the meta. Look at this unit. It will cause you a lot of problem and many players own this unit. And also we have other healers that can cut in between that will mess up your, you, your team after your stripper take a turn. So if you have a 280 more and a 250 Chang Pung, that is not going to work. So the thing that you need to do is to slow down by taking the rune from your more and put it onto your Hei Gang, I mean, I mean your Chang Pung or your Karno, or your tail, okay? Make sure that their speed gap is as small as possible. I can't ask you to have the same speed on these units. It is impossible. That is what a lot of high rank players do. They have pretty much like one or two speed gap in between. But what I really hope you to do is to have maybe five speed in between. Remember, unit with high base speed, like let's say you are running up a Vio Zabala or Vio Ganymede. They have higher base speed, so with the speed lead, situation then they might outspeed your stripper remember that okay because the speed lead and the speed tower they they improve your speed by percentage so the percentage of the higher base will give them more speed at the very end so test your team by going into a goodwill battle in the goodwill noob room so that you can see how your team function but have like five speed in between your stripper and your follow-up unit and that is, is very very important because there are many units like Wusa, Annabelle, even these nonsense, even the Praha of the enemy that can come in between because you fail to push back attack bar then it'll be very devastating. That's why using stripper that can push back attack bar is very meta. That's why more or Chiwu or Wind Robo are very very popular as the AoE stripper because they strip into attack bar reduction. That's going to allow for more room for error in between your unit because the enemy attack bar is going to be down so your slower Chung Pung or Karno can catch up, okay? So find out what is the speed where you can have the most unit in the same range. Your fastest set might be 280. Congratulations. That is, if that's the only set that is 280 and you have the problem and maybe you slow them down, you can have maybe four or five unit in the 260 range and that is fine you can be slower if you have weirdness on your unit you can be slow because a lot of people make mistake with their drafting they don't draft enough stripper so if your entire team is on will they go first they have one single target stripper a lot of people now play oliver mouse raccoonie and they pick some sort of bruiser like fire monkey king and then an immunity unit at the end so they end up with one one stripper and that can miss as well so if your entire team is on will they go first, they can't do anything to you. You can go second, strip them, debuff them, and win as long as your team move together. But if your stripper outspeed them and your Chung Pung can't move after that, then you're doomed. This is one of the most important things about ruining your unit. The same can apply for if you draft something like a single target strip situation. For example, if you watch Pink Roy in SMUC, he draft a lot of Vanessa, Cigar, Hey Gang. If he get first pick Vanessa, 
If he doesn't, then he get more Chung Peng and Shan, and they move together as well. So if he draft like this, you saw that even with a slower base beat, the Hei Gang move, the Vanessa move, and then the Sagara take a turn. All together, when you watch Pink Drive play, nothing cut in between these three units. So he will achieve an AoE strip. If the Hei Gang miss anything, Vanessa is going to be the backup for that miss and get a defense break. And then Sagara control the entire enemy team. And then the follow up, be it a Shan or a Teo, can just nuke the enemy or provide more control. And you can last pick an immunity unit. So the immunity unit doesn't have to be speed tuned too correctly because the main job is to protect the team. But let's say if you're using Wusa and you Wusa move first on your team, but your team move first anyway. So you will lose that one turn immunity. So maybe if you want to, you can tune your immunity unit to move slow in your team so that the immunity will be there for the longest possible duration. So that is the speed tuning aspect of how you can ruin your stuff. If you're playing turn two, for example, is speed tuning important? Yes, I play on many turn two accounts as well. And even though they are slow, they are slow together. So you have, let's say, Colonel Annabelle. The most people, um, default instinct is to put the best vial set on Colonel. So the Colonel is like super fast. Then the Annabelle is like shit, slow and doesn't move with the Colonel. But then you could slow down the Colonel, allow the Annabelle to go first, provide a defense break. And then you just one shot the entire enemy team with a slower crit damage Colonel and you will win instantly. Let's say you have any other cleanser like Raccoonie on your team, make sure that is faster than whatever your damage dealer is using so that if you get stunned in the first turn, then your cleanser can provide the cleanse for the damage dealer. Juno is always good to move in front of your team so that she can provide a strip for the slower team that you are trying to use. If you're using, let's say, a turn two, but then you also want a Vanessa, it is important for Van Vanessa to go first before potentially, let's say, you put in a Camilla in here instead of Teo, and then you put in a Fire Monkey in here instead of Wusa. You want the defense break to happen first before the damage dealer take their turn. All that is very basic, but many people just don't remember to speed tune their unit properly. So with that, that is how you find your speed. Don't ruin your unit with your best rune, make it super fast, and then nothing can move with that unit. And then you have a bad team. So let's talk about the Vio Nam build. So this is the build for the healers in your team. You get to use your Nemesis rune and not your will rune because you have to use your will on so many other units. You have Nemesis rune, you can use them on these units. So you have the three healers. You can pick two of this and put your Vio Nam on them. I think Tetra can be on Swift. That is totally fine as well because if Tetra lapped the enemy unit, which means we are both at zero attack bar, but Tetra take the turn before the enemy unit move. Let's say your the Neftis take a turn and then Tetra lap the Neftis or the enemy Chung Pung. Then the Tetra can cleanse everything and that is pretty amazing. So she can be on Swift Nemesis too. But the other unit can be on Vio Nam. Very most can be on Vio Nam or Triple Nemesis is totally fine as well. The Jemaya skill 3 cannot be reset by Oliver Chung Pung. A lot of people don't know this. So he can be reset turn one by the Chumpong or Oliver and he doesn't lose the skill three. And because he's on Nemesis, he might be the target of the enemy fire damage dealer. He will gain the attack bar first because of the Nemesis rune and then he cleansed and reset the entire team of yours and you will move again and you can negate all the Oliver Chumpong work in the first turn. So these can be on Vionem and they are very good on Vio Nemesis and they are all built with like speed, HP, HP. Next, we have the Violent Revenge. These are the damage dealer that when they revenge can be quite devastating and there are many other units as well, but these are some examples. So we have the unit that are very hard to control. We have the unit that revenge with defense break. We have unit revenge with oblivion. And then we have a unit that revenge with stun. And usually when you pick Diana, they are going with some sort of turn one team, which means they have stripper anyway. So being on will is less meaningful, but being on revenge, you can revenge stun because Diana is always the target of the enemy damage. If they are controlling your team, they will hit Diana so that Diana will not gain attack bar. So having a revenge set on your Diana can provide some random stun that can be quite funny to watch. So these will be on the violent revenge and we have some speed crit damage HP. We have some speed attack. We have some speed crit rate HP as well on Tessarian. Speed attack HP on the whatever thing. What is that name? Suiki. And then we have a slow, super slow HP could damage HP on Diana. So their runes will not really mess with the speed HP accuracy build for all the control unit, which is great because you can build them a bit slower and stack with damage. And then we have the triple revenge build because you farm so many dragon, but you have so many good revenge rune. Where do you put them on? You can put them on your vert. 
So very speed quit rate resistance or speed quit rate HP as fast as you can, as tanky as you can. We have another build here for this unit, which is great against Oliver, Changfeng, any form of attack power reduction. Absolutely incredible unit on Triple Revenge. Can be on Vital Revenge as well. The end game build, end game build. But this unit is Vile Revenge, very fast, very tanky. But for the majority of us who will not have enough Violent Rune to spare, then Triple Revenge is totally fine for this unit. Super tanky, as tanky as you can, max resistance and some speed in there. And then we have the Vampire set because we farm Necro for some Rage, but then we just happen to have some good Vampire. So these are like the unit you build, but they don't mess with your core team. But they're great counterfeit. And you can build them with runes that you don't use for anything else. So you have Carlos, who's on a tanky, faster vampire set. But these two units can be on like zero speed. You pick Laika when you see Ragdoll and Leo team together. Laika can solo them. You pick Douglas when you see a CC team without water unit. Douglas can solo them. And these two share the same build. Slow, high damage. That's pretty much it. And then we have the Nemwill build. So these are the units that if they cut in between... The first turn stripper, they delete one enemy unit. Um, I think Daphne is kind of shit for that part because he's so RNG. It's not fun. But these two units, absolutely incredible for Nem will build because they cut in, they kill an enemy unit. Like, let's say you are dealing with this nonsense. The Mora do the spinny, spinny strip. He does a lot of damage. And then you clap the Chung Pung. And then he's left with no follow up unit. And then you win. That is the fun part about Nem Nem will build. And they also don't clash with your main unit stuff. And then we have the zero speed unit. These are the unit you pick when you see this guy pop up and you can pick these unit. Usually the Leo team will come with Riley, Vert, Ragnar and maybe one water unit like the Molong or the Wusa. Usually they come with LD as well. So zero speed fire unit or LD unit are very, very good into these Leo team because they have the potential to just wipe the enemy on their own or just one shot one of the enemy instantly especially one shotting the Vern. so these can be built with zero speed highly recommend building one of them zero speed violent will big damage big tankiness because you you don't need speed because leo user don't have speed on them anyway don't kill the leo okay remember don't 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 follow your instinct be like i have a fire unit i have to one shot a leo no 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 no. one shot the Vern. one shot the threat on the enemy team Leave the Leo so that your zero speed unit can maintain being zero speed. And then we have the rare occasional, I will build them on like Vio Nam, but then you probably don't have Vio runes at this point anymore. Then I would run these on like um, Will Shield Nemesis, Triple Energy. I don't care what you build on these units, okay? Make them as thick as you can, like obese level, okay? Call them American or something, all right? <laughs> Let's say you're fighting a cleaver. You go in with a normal speed lead. You are a naive Oliver abuser. They are picking cleave. You see Draco showed up. You're like, oh, fuck. But it's okay because you've listened to Sean B. You have Asher. So you pick Asher and you steal their Samav, for example. You take this Samav as well. So now you are secure two speed lead and one base speed unit that will outspeed the Draco. No problemo. But they will follow up with their cleave. You're not like, oh shit, I only have one high base speed unit. Um, let me let me pick this funny Ela drill. And then they'll be like, ah, oh, god damn it. If I want to kill him, I have to go through this Ela drill or the Hwandam or the Triana. Then they'll either have to ban this fat punching punching bag or they have to ban your Asha. Either way, you might be in a good spot. And then your last pick Abelio. So they can't cleave you because Abelio is also another punching bag. So you'll be safe because you have one of this set up and they use triple energy bill. You don't have to worry too much about them. And then you have uh, the pink Roy special, okay? This will be on despair, violent, vampire, rage. You do you, have fun with this thing. I don't care what you build. And then if you don't have, <laughs> nobody, no, nobody uses unit. And then you have, oh, you also farm a lot of rage or fatal runes. You have them. You can put them on somebody and they don't compete with your main unit. You can put them on these units so you have Fatal Runes on the Blushin so that you can last pick him when you can see immunity. You are getting cleave. You pick Ayunu on Vampire Rage. You are being cleave. You pick the Rage Samab. Okay? And you can do the same with these units for fun if you really want to. I don't really care. So let's do a quick recap. So we have two units here, maybe. You have one or two units here. You have like four units built on Swift. If you are really that good, maybe you have like three. Three units on Swift and then one on like a bad Swift set. And then you have two on despair. You have six unit build in total. And then you have two more slow despair. You have eight unit. And then you have maybe five more unit on the vile route. 
five to six unit because that's the only maximum amount of vial rune that you can actually build and then you'll be picking in between these 10 to 15 units that you have filled with your swift despair and vial and then you have some last pick that you have built up here and your rti box in total will now have maybe 15 to 18 unit of course the more counter pick the more stuff you can ruin the better but remember you have to ruin them so that they will fit into your team they will function like a proper unit and not some funky wonky stuff that you you put together they barely have any accuracy they have shitty crit rate they have no hp then they're not going to be good okay a shitty counter pick is a shitty draft, okay? It doesn't count anything if it's not rude. All right, let's end the session with a quick RTA match. You know, some practical stuff, some drafting advice as well. Once again, when you draft against the enemy, you are trying to pick the unit you want to play with. I know a lot of you guys want to play with one or two units because they're fun. So I love playing with Cigar. I always pick this guy first. And he's not like a huge takeaway. I mean, a let away hint to my drafting. So... He take a speed lead and a follow-up unit. I would have to take a speed lead if I want to go first. So Monessa is going to be my speed lead of choice. And we have Heigang to deal with a strip from the moor. If he stun me, I get even more attack bar. So my Vanessa is on swift and some accuracy in the skill too to make sure that she land the defense break. And Vanessa is only a couple of speed faster than my Bison. And my fastest despair is on Heigang right now. So he can provide a strip for the Bison to provide the AoE pushback and provoke so he's going turn one but he's not heavily in speed he's going with a carnal so another follow-up from the enemy i might go for a high base i will go for a high base super pressure on the chung Pung and the spice over there and he only has one cooldown reset and is not exactly the strongest cooldown reset as well or i can go in with an immunity unit because i'm going to kill one of his unit with sonia if that goes through so there are many options I'm going to go for Shizuka as my immunity unit. And if he land the bomb, I can return the bomb back to him, which is a great, great thing. Uh, Wusa is going to be decent as well. He lock in another speed lead, which I will ban because that heavily countered my Shizuka. And that will allow him to outspeed me potentially. He has to ban Sonia here. It can be Ethna. It can be Sekhmet. It can be many things that will put pressure on the Chengpeng and the Colonel or whatever high base speed you have. Okay, the Yonhong can be pretty decent as well. So, with the better speed lead, we will take the first turn. We're going to go for the strip. We're going to say hi back. Oh, big despair stun as well. He stripped me. I gain free attack bar. So, I'm going to take away the enemy stri strip. And then we're going to go focus on the secondary strip, which is this guy. And then, oh, my, oh wait. My bison. Oh, because of the strip, the more my bison move in front of Vanessa. We're going to reduce the cooldown of this guy. I have glancing. Do I want to throw it back on the enemy? The carnal might violent proc, and I might regret not throwing it back. So I'm going to do that right now to get my two-turn immunity. Okay, he didn't violent. That was a kind of a waste, but we're going to try to despair stun him. Big despair stun. We're going to keep the damage on the Smicer, and we get a lucky violent proc. Once again, we're going to try to reset the carnal who still has skill because we are damaging the Smicer. We don't have to reset him. A lot of people, very funny, they will reset the unit fully, and then still trying to kill it. Like, the unit's not going to do anything. Why are you trying to kill that unit? Which is kind of weird. So that guy is out. The entire enemy team is on cooldown. So they're not exactly very scary anymore. I'm going to keep reducing the cooldown of my Bison. We're going to hope for another Despair Stun. More Despair Stun coming out from Hey Gang. Looking pretty spicy right there. This all happened because we actually got the first turn with the better speed lead that we drafted. He might get skilled very, very soon here. But if we can provoke him or get a lucky increased cool time with the Vanessa, then things can really, really change. No stun. He might take a turn very, very soon here. But the reset of the Chengpeng is not exactly very scary. It is only potentially one turn reset. And we might get a quick kill here. We got the quick kill. This guy got fully reset by the Bison. I love Bison because it's a full reset and not a one turn reset. Usually one turn reset is like kind of lame. We're going to keep reducing the cooldown of the Bison. Maybe get a Despair Stun. We got a Despair Stun right there. And then that's pretty much it. And this is the Pingroy SWC EU Draft with Bison, Heigang, Vanessa, Core. Anyway, that is my RTA rune thought process. Hope you guys find this helpful. Let me know in the comment section what you have question. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.